The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings, all very interesting, no doubt, but the one that I'm focusing on is cabbages, because my book, Ireland's Green Larder, is a history of Ireland seen through the prism of food and drink, and so cabbages are important. In Ireland, every jug of buttermilk and every loaf of soda bread tells a story. My researches have taken me from Kerry in the south to Armagh in the north, up country lanes and into archives. I've been to visit the oldest field system in the world, which is a thousand years older than the pyramids. And I've cooked a salmon wrapped in cabbage leaves in the embers of my turf fire. Where I live in Ireland now, beside the River Shannon, not far from where my father grew up, is a fantastic place for food. I'm surrounded by artisan food producers. So, for example, my friend Clarissa made these pies, Marion made these award-winning gold medal cheeses, and Dermot grows organic vegetables. For many years, I was food and drink editor at Country Living, so I'm well qualified to take on this glorious subject. You'll find a few recipes dotted here and there in the book, and also a dash of humour, such as this. In a butcher's shop window in Cork, beside a tray of pig's trotters, there was a sign, very low mileage. The history of food is just fascinating. A philosophy professor at Trinity used to tell his first year students, there are only two things that matter, boys, trout and truth. You'll actually find both of those in the pages of my book, Ireland's Green Larder. Now all you have to do is pledge to buy it. Please do.